Okay, so if you have a home-based food business, some states actually restrict the use or having pets. And if you've got pets, you may want to stay tuned because I'm going to give you the six specific states in which you cannot have a pet in the area in which you are going to make the food product. I'm going to dive into some of the reasons why. We're going to get into that right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So I had a great question from several actual subscribers from our other channel, uh, Cottage Food Laws, which is all about home-based food businesses. And they were asking and inquiring, hey, Damien, I don't know. I've got pets at home. I'm getting some misinformation about whether I can have pets in the house. When I make a product that I'm going to sell from Cottage Food uh, at local farmer's markets or local events, wherever it may be, some states restrict pets having them in the area that you actually make them. And then some actual states allow you to have the pets, but you need to put them away or put them out of the reach in the area in which you're going to make the food product. So I've got a great list. I did a little bit of research here and I had a couple of friends of mine send me over some great information. I'm going to go through the six states that have specific guidelines about not having pets. Now, this is not in, in any particular order and multiple states, believe it or not, they actually require you to have your pet in another secluded room or while you're producing the homemade cottage food product, making sure that they are in nowhere near that actual area in which you're going to be making it. So start off with number one, North Carolina. So there are no pets that are actually allowed in the home at any time during food preparation for cottage food operations. All food contact services, of course, also must be smooth, easily cleanable, and meet additional food safety standards set forth by North Carolina's cottage food laws. But no pets are allowed in the home at any time during that. So if you're going to make a batch of cookies, if you're going to make jam or jelly or whatever it is that you're making, and you have pets, they are requiring you to have them outside or out of the house completely or not at all in the house during the time that you make it. Number two, Minnesota. So yes, Minnesota cottage food production must occur in a pet-free environment. So no pets are actually allowed during food preparation. This will actually ensure compliance with local health regulations that oversee specifically cottage food laws in Minnesota. So you want to make sure that you do not have them there at all. Next one, number three, California. Yes, the state's cottage food laws mandate that pets must not be present in the kitchen or any food storage areas during the preparation and storage of cottage foods. So if you're in the process of actually producing or making a product in California, no go on the pets. Now, to be honest with you, it's kind of more or less a common sense thing because when you think about it, just in like restaurants and cafes, you don't have pets allowed in there anyways. So you really just want to keep it clean and sanitary for those purposes based on common sense, right? So number four is North Dakota. Yes, cottage food operators in North Dakota must be conducted in a pet-free kitchen. This rule is actually part of the state's commitment to maintaining a high food safety standard, even though it is a cottage food, home-based food business, not something that's going to be regulated on a commercial scale. So definitely keep that in mind. So number four is North, North Dakota. Number five is going to be Oregon. Yes, so food operation under Oregon's cottage food laws must occur in a pet-free environment as well. So the kitchen actually must be entirely separate from any areas accessible to your pets or animals that you have. Lastly, number six is Virginia. Virginia, yes. There are no pets allowed in the kitchen uh, or even food storage areas as well during the preparation of food stored uh, for cottage food operations and food production. So those are six specific states. Now, if you know of a state that has more specific guidelines that is a no on having any type of animal in there, let me know. Um, I do know that every cottage food state, every state that has cottage food laws on the books do state specifically, of course, if you some of them say if you have pets, it's okay, but don't have them in the kitchen. Some states, like the one I just told you, you can't have pets at all. So let me know if you down below, if you get any questions or comments about how this actually works under cottage food laws, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in our next video.